Hello and welcome to this Let's Sign It tutorial. In this video we will go over the different steps to set up the Office 365 connector. This will enable you to synchronize your users from your Azure Active Directory onto the Let's Sign It platform. Firstly we will head over to our Team tab to make sure that our user has the correct admin role on the platform. If it's not the case you can change it over here. Next, we will head over to the Office 365 Admin Center in order to make sure that the user has the correct role and license. In order to set up this connector, you will need the Application Administrator role as well as a license giving you access to the Exchange Admin Center. We can look at this information in the Active Users area of the Office 365 Admin Center. Click on your user, scroll down and look at the roles. Application Admin is the only role that's needed for this connector. Then head over to the Licenses and Apps tab to make sure that the user has the appropriate license. The E3 and E5 licenses, for example, give you access to the Exchange Admin Center. Once that is done, we can go back to the Let's Sign It platform and create this connector. Head over to the Office 365 Integrations tab on the top right corner of the platform. From there, open up the Office 365 Active Directory Synchronization tab and click on Authorize. Use the appropriate Office 365 admin account to create the connector. You must now tick the box to authorize the different accesses for this connector to be set up. Once that is done, we can either synchronize a domain or we can synchronize groups. If we decide to synchronize only a domain, all of the active users with that domain in the email address as well as all of the groups will be synchronized. We can now apply. This should take a couple of seconds and then you will get a message once it's done. We can head over to the team tab to see if our synchronization was successful. As you can see, we have our 31 users that were synchronized from the AD as well as our 47 groups. If you wish to only get a certain type of group and users onto the platform, you can go back to the Office Integration tab and edit your synchronization. Please take note that if you want to synchronize by group, you will also need to tick the corresponding domain. We will enable the group filter and search for our group over here. Once that is done, we can apply the settings and the synchronization will start again. Now that is done, we will head back to our team tab. And as you can see, we only have our test 1234 group and the five users that are in it. Please also take note that if one of your users tries to create a Let's Sign It account before they've been synchronized from your AD, this will create an isolated Let's Sign It account and this user will not be able to be synchronized from your AD. It is important to tell your users to wait that the Active Directory synchronization is done before trying to connect to the Let's Sign It account. If you have any questions, feel free to contact our support team on the online chat or on the email address. You can also find this information on our help center. Thank you and have a nice day.